All right, the house bunny. The house bunny. It's kind of funny, but only kind of. <laughs> as opposed to what you just did is not funny at all. Hey, man, compared to what he just did, i say the house bunny was right on par. <laughs> Wait, you, so you didn't like it? No, not really. Okay. I, I didn't think so. I saw you sitting up there looking all pissed off. I was sitting right next to you. I mean, you know, I mean, the thing is, I didn't know what to expect from this movie, but I, all I knew was like, hey, I like Anna Ferris. She's like, like like a pretty girl who's actually really funny. She's very funny. Yeah. And I mean, there's nothing sexier than like, a, you know, a, a female comedian. Yeah, no, and Anna Ferris is one of those girls when she was in the scary movie movies. Yeah. I thought she was cute, but yeah, God, me too. damn, in this movie, she's fine as hell. Well, she was playing it down in the scary movies. You know, she's just kind of a normal girl. That was just comedy. And here, she's a Playboy bunny. And I remember hearing about this. How are they going to make her? I mean, she's cute, but Playboy bunny and damn. Well, she, <laughs> yeah. clearly she's been spending yeah. like four hours in the gym for the last, you know, eight weeks or Baby, or, don't or take two, your ass out the gym three months. if you look like that. Yeah. Stay in that goddamn gym. Oh, no but, doubt. I, yeah, but you know somewhere she, she couldn't wait for that movie to wrap so she could finally eat some food. I, I bet know. she got a, like a Dagwood sandwich and two, <laughs> two cheeseburgers on the side. <laughs> Man, I, you aren't kidding. I'd, I'd hit that so hard. Even her mom would be going, oh, is that it? Yeah, I got a <laughs> Dagwood sandwich right here. But no, she, so in this movie, The House Bunny, uh, Anna Ferris, as we said from the scary movie movies, yeah, at least the first two, three maybe is I don't remember. Yeah, I lost track. enough. Who of cares at this? Yeah, point. exactly. Who gives a shit? But she plays uh, a Playboy playmate, living in, living the life in the Playboy mansion. Apparently, when you live in a Playboy mansion, you ain't gotta pay for shit. Oh, it's paradise for bimbos. It's That's like the afterlife for dumb blondes. I mean, had I known about the Playboy mansion, I mean, what it was really like for bimbos, yeah. I would have cut my dick off at twenty one. <laughs> When you got dyed my hair blonde, I still got it, Leon. Don't, don't laugh at me now. Well, I'm just thinking, I, when I think about the girls you date, I'm, I'm sure your dick will be cut off pretty soon. <laughs> what, now, see, man, why you got to do me like that? I'm being very nice here, being very friendly. I mean, why you picking on me? Man, I'm giving you a warning. <laughs> well, ain't no warning. It's, apparently, it's too late for me. I mean, you know, dude, a player like you, they either wind up three, they got three ways to end up, either with the dick cut off, an ice pick in the head, or hot grits pouring on their chest <laughs> while they sleep in bed. Hey, that happened to my dad, man. <laughs> <laughs> or your dad was Al Green. My dad was the original player. Yeah, my, my or, or, or like Lionel Richie, where his wife took her Taekwondo lessons and beat the shit out of him and ended his career. No, nah, you're right. I ain't had no Playboy Playmates yet, but I've had some crazy hoes. And I tell you, I would gladly be one of them if I could live in the Playboy Mansion. Because apparently you just go different places and you say, I want this. And that's like, well, we'll put on the Playboy account. So naturally, this girl does not want to leave. No, who would? Yeah, like who you would? said, you know, you got eunuch for that shit. I would <laughs> pretend to be dumb to live there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Exactly. I mean, apparently, if, well, girl, no wonder some women play dumb. They're not dumb. They just get shit when they play dumb. Well, in this movie, though. No, in life, that's what <laughs> I'm saying. Anna Ferris' character actually is dumb in this movie. No, she is dumb and in that's this movie. The crux of the a lot of the jokes in the film is exactly. about how stupid she is. Although the heart of gold. And it, they, they play up this joke that at 27, now I don't know, this may be a myth, I don't know if it's true or not, but at 27, Hugh Hefner comes in and says, you got to get your ass and go. So, <laughs> you're too old. Now, they say, as, as the joke in the movie was, it's 58 and bunny years. Yeah. So, of course, being thrown out on the street and being dumb, she doesn't know what to do with her life, so she finds a sorority house and she's like, well, this is kind of similar to the playboy, playboy mansion. mansion. It's like yeah. a little, little mini mansion. And she just goes right in and says, I want to, I want to live here. And they're like, oh, okay, we just fucking get out. And so she goes to the sorority, which is the outcast sorority on yeah. town. Which the revenge of, course, of the nerds. It's the revenge oh. of exactly. the nerds. Yeah. <laughs> except, except a women. Exactly. I mean, they, God damn, this movie, it, it ain't nothing but what was it? Legally blonde meets revenge of the nerds. Yeah. It's a combination of those two films. That is true. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. We've seen this story over and over again. Recently, we just saw it in uh, Sydney White. Right. So, I mean, we've seen the, the sorority of the fraternity, who's the outcast, and all of a sudden, either somebody comes in, teaches them how to be handsome or pretty, or someone comes in and says, yeah, you got to take on the dean and the bad jocks, and that's what you have here. Well, the thing is, with Revenge of the Nerds, the, the ultimate message was like, hey, don't let these people call you nerds. You guys are just as good as everybody else. You just have different talents that you can use to further your, your, you know, your life. And here it's just like, hey, stop being nerds and, and be pretty and stop being so smart. Yeah, and, they literally and, say at one point, you just got to stop being so smart. I didn't think they were going to go there. I right. thought they'd just dance around it. But no. She's like, uh-uh, you can't be smart. 
I was like, huh? Did you, anybody else just hear that? <laughs> and I thought, and like, at some point, they're gonna turn around and like go like, no, wait, no, 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 wait, wait. This this whole superficial thing is wrong. You got to be a nerd too. And but they no, they really don't. No, they <laughs> actually they, they do, do. A little, they like, do. a tiny bit. No, they, they go. You gotta have half and They half. come in and tell exactly. them. They say because I I was shocked. I was like immediately when they said, no, I know I'm a pig. I know that, but I do have respect for women in that. And well, a little bit. And they and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I can't get laid. What the hell? <laughs> And, oh, 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 women don't respond to respect. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Listen to this I, man right here. Exactly. You know, foot in the ass. Nothing understand that. No, and, I and stop really. being so picky. Oh, all right. no, the, no. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, a bullet wound or two just means they're tough. Yeah. But, I'll yeah. call your sister back. But no, they, and, and an Adam's ass. apple doesn't mean it's necessarily a man. <laughs> all right, I ain't going just, that far. Just, just squint. <laughs> okay, now wait a minute. Now he's been with plenty of fine women with Adam's <laughs> apples, and he was certain they weren't men. Tell, teach this boy to. to <laughs> I, we're, I, I don't know. Oh, will you leave it alone? No, I'm I wouldn't. from Virginia. What do you want? It's I, I different know, regional man. dialects. But, but the thing is, no, 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 it is not. I mean, <laughs> all it takes woman and women i mean it's really it's the first syllable well, you're gonna pick on an english guy for saying schedule come on yeah i would uh, totally make fun of it of, of a brit for saying schedule. And, exactly <laughs> and, and privacy but no we and yogurt i just want to see if favorite. you can do it that's all because you've never done it and i like how we say say women and you just look at us and say fuck you wo- woman <laughs> but, but no it, okay see, so i'm just being myself i'm half brainless bimbo and half myself <laughs> just like the message in this you film. just said it's not getting you laid so move on <laughs> say women you gonna get women so no no. i don't think that's what's holding me back somehow i'm pretty sure that's not the giant barrier standing between my way my my cock and pussy okay okay damn (laughs) damn all right that would be your personality ain't your lack of honesty either but no anyway so uh, regardless of what i am and what kind of women we like in this movie they there was a point where they said Anna Ferris tells the girls, you can't be too smart. Guys don't like that. And I automatically said, bullshit. If they don't, if they don't come back on this and correct that, I hate this movie. And they do. And uh, I, I think they addressed that pretty well. It was a little longer in the movie than I thought it would be, but they eventually get to it. It's but, not overlooked. No, by the end, they're like, okay, look, you can't be total, like, closet pigs like these girls are in the middle of the movie and they are they're just dressing and they might as well be wearing burlap sacks pretty much and, and they don't shower or wear deodorant i mean they're a mess i mean sure they're themselves but you know what you do need if you're just sitting around the house hiding all day dressing like that yeah you do need somebody to whip your ass into shape a little bit get boy or girl you know now see uh, and yeah. at the end they're like uh, you know they never really say quite to my satisfaction enough that no 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 smart is good to fix that but they do kind of slide back that whole like you know what we got it they say we got to be half like shelly the anna ferris character mm-hmm. and half like ourselves which means half totally vacuous bimbo well you, you know you you hit on a good point there because i was going to say this is that i'm glad they didn't say oh being myself is being ugly no women I, I don't care what you say here in america you know, you can't do this. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be a strong woman. You got to show them legs a little bit. You got to put you, on a little you, lipstick. You got to throw on some makeup. Yeah. You know, a little, little, a little eyeliner. Yeah. At, at, at the very least, eyeliner. Exactly. And, 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 you know, and some lipstick helps. And, you know, comb your hair, taking the metal out of your face. Some fucking exactly. Pumps, you know. I mean, girls want me to put my yeah. clothes on. So good. they must, they, they have, there's some give and take here. If you want me to get dressed in the morning, then you need to be a little bit of a woman. That's all it is. Now, 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 now tell, tell me y'all didn't notice how, like, okay, yeah, sure, you know, Shelly gives them their makeover and they get all Barbie dolled up. And, like, now they're pretty and all the guys are into them. But was that one little chick that looked like Bridget the Midget? Like even when she was dressed up, yeah. she was still hideous. Yeah, she's and they, still, and they oh, never, man, they on. would never, they never went back to her. They, they never let her speak again. Yeah, she's the camera, camera tried to stay away from yeah, her. The camera's kind of like she'll be in the corner of the screen. You're like, what's the short bus Dude, show up? Dude, man, y'all are some cruel motherfuckers, you man. Know you, you were thinking that? I was it's not thinking that. You like, I'd hit that, I'd hit that, I'd hit that. Oh shit! Well, that okay, be like Bruce Willis's daughter, who like Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. Like from the top half of her face, she's Demi Moore, and the second half, she's Bruce Willis. She looks like those computer programs where you can see what it would look like if two people had a baby together and it fuses them together <laughs> now, like in not a good way right well, except you, they finally show you her body in slow motion you're like oh well that's oh, all right oh no. the girl oh the girl with the, with the, the brakes yeah. that was oh, Bruce yeah. Willis no, and Demi Moore's man, man let me let me just say something because people I, I, it, this is probably going to be most likely an audio review and you probably can't see the little girl they're talking about but they they come in and they manage to make all these girls good looking even the big old lumberjack looking girl right, is yeah. kind of good looking but not and, the little short Latina but girl. the little short 
short girl they got in there. She looks like a troll. I, yeah. Man, I'm not going to go that far. I mean, she's Dude, got a... I, you once described a girl who, that you said she looked like a pig in a wig, and that's what this chick a looked pig like. in a wig. Did I, did I say that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was I that mean one time? You did. You were that mean one time. And, and the fucked up thing was, it was accurate. It was like, once you said it about this girl, I could not look at her and not see what you said. <laughs> All I, right. I kept. I mean, you know, it's like if that girl had walked out of here telling me she had a crush on Kermit the Frog, I would have believed it. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> All right. I don't I know think... why you laughing. You fucked her. Okay. Oh. No, that's a goddamn lie, dude. What you looking at me like? I really did that. But once Anna Ferris showed up and taught her what it meant to be pretty, <laughs> she was fine. Corey oh, totally tapped God. that People out. People listening to this and being like, "Y'all are some of the most atrocious man," and when we are, but. <laughs> Dude, but you I know the sad wanna... thing is, we, we're not. Yeah, we're commenting on you. What is this we? No, no, no. I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> hey, hey, you can, you can say we're being piggish about, you know, this girl in the movie, all these girls, but we're not the worst men. No. We, we aren't. I mean, if, if you if you have a male friend and you get him drunk and let's let him spew, you'll see just what goes on in the mind of most men. Oh, man, that little girl, she was cute for somebody. I mean, 